In this video, I want to talk about starting seeds of the Opuntia or Opuntia humifusa plant. It's the eastern prickly pear, and it is native to Massachusetts as well as some other, um, many other places in the country. But it's a prickly pear that is native to um, Cape Cod here, which is a little bit unusual. This is a pad from the plant, and this pad is about three inches long. It's a young pad. Um, some of the larger pads on my plants get to be about um, five and a half to six inches. I'm trying to fix the camera here. It's sliding a little bit. Um, they can get big, big, but they get big and bushy. They don't get tall like, say, a ficus indica um, would do. A, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Opuntia ficus indica, which is the tall, um, wide pads a lot of times used for uh, feeding livestock. And I think I've got the camera staying there now. Um, these are very easy to start from a pad, but before you can have a plant and pads to start, which you can see here, this is how you start them. You just place them on top of the soil and they will form roots and start a new plant. But before you can do that with a plant, you need to um, generally start them from seeds. Now these need two steps for starting. One is called um, scarification and one is called stratification. Scarification is you need to cut a little nick into the edge of the seed. I'll put the seed here and I think you can see it there. Um, they're not overly tiny but they're as hard as a rock and you have to um, cut a little nick into this seed covering and that's called the scarification. In order for the seed to absorb water and then germinate. And the second step is stratification. And in the wild, um, the plants would develop a large, um, about three inch tall, purplish red seed pod that looks um, like an upside down pear, which is why they're called prickly pears. And the seed pod would then burst open, the seeds would fall on the ground, and during the winter, the seeds need that um, below freezing temperatures in order to germinate in, in the spring. Sometimes it takes them a year in nature to germinate, because in nature it might take a year for the seed covering to break down. But what the stratification is about is the cold and then the thaw and the cold and the thaw that the seeds would naturally go through outside. Now what I could do is not not put a nick in the seed. I could take these seeds and put them outside in the ground um, in the front where it faces the south and leave them there in about a year they would probably germinate. So a lot of times we like to speed that up, and to do that, you have to, like I said, put a nick in the seed uh, covering, but you also then have to give it the cold treatment that it would get in nature. Now as far as making a nick in the seed, um, you can use a knife if you're very careful, and to do that, um, always have a sharp blade. You could just pull a seed aside and always face the blade away from you pick an edge really and you can see that that's a little bit difficult I can do it in fact I did get a little bit of a nick in that that's one method you could do the same with a 
um, utility knife. They have to be. It has to be a sharp knife to do that. You can also. This is a carving tool, but as you can see, it's curved. So you can also use that to just go down the side of the seed. And again, this is a wood carving tool, so it's extremely sharp. And it will cut into the seed. This is actually a little bit easier to do than the knife was. But you want to make enough of a cut so that the hard surface of the seed, and we're getting a little bit of shade here, the hard surface of the seed has to be cut. So that's another method. And then this is another method. This is a file, a wood file. And you can take the seed and put it in your hand, find a little uh, natural nick in the seed, because they're a little bit bumpy, and then just keep filing. Until you get a cut and see how quickly that goes through. I don't know if you can see that, but that very quickly goes through the seed covering. So those are the methods of scarifying. Now to stratify, um, these are um, inexpensive Tupperware type containers and you can see they have little pots of sand in them. The pots are actually medicine cups, and I use these for a lot of different plants. They look like this. You buy them a hundred at a time, uh, generally in any kind of medical supply store, or they also have them on eBay. And you're going to take a utility knife, and you're going to cut carefully a little X in the bottom of the medicine cup. And what that does is provide a drainage hole. And then what I've done is fill them with sand. And in my case, it's, um, you can go to a garden store or probably Walmart or if you have a Kmart or something near you, Target. Um, you're buying clay sand. It's not the greatest sand for overall horticulture, but for starting seeds, it's very good. Now you can see one of these this is dry sand, and this is wet sand, and there is a difference in the colors. Um, you want the sand to be damp, but not um, not sitting in water. So what you do is, after you've uh, made the cut in the seed coat, you take the seed and you push it, you put it on the top of the surface of the pot and push it down about a quarter of an inch. And then I like to label everything. Um, I'll actually probably take this out of, take all of these out of there and let them drain on a paper towel a little bit more. It's a little bit too damp. Um, trying to get that in the camera view. You want it damp but not wet. And from here I will put either a plastic bag or a, um, I could use gallon sized plastic bags and put the whole thing, each one of these, in a bag. And then it goes in the refrigerator. And you want to leave it in there for about two weeks. And then you want to take it out of there for two weeks. Um, not for two weeks. After two weeks you take it out and I leave them out for about a day. Just long enough to get them to room temperature again. And that would be the thawing out period if they were out in nature. Then they go back into the refrigerator for a second two week period. They come out again for a day and they go back in for a third two-week period in the refrigerator. Um, 
I did some research online today on what other people say about this, and mo um, the, the sites I came across say that you can leave them in the refrigerator for four weeks or, or two two week time periods with a thawing out in between or a warm period in between. I think that it's better um, six to eight weeks in cold is the way I look at it. So that would be a total of four two-week time periods in the refrigerator with a day or two out to thaw out, you know, to get warm to room temperature and then go back in again. So let's say you do that for eight weeks. You then take them out. You can leave them in the sand. You put them in a bright light because they are a full sunlight plant. You might have to cover them um, depending on the heating system you have and how dry your house is, how fast they dry out. They have to stay moist, um, slightly damp through that whole time period from today when I'm doing this all the way through to eight weeks from now. So, and then when I take them out and say I put these on a windowsill to, to germinate, I can take medicine cups and put them on top of each one and that creates a little mini greenhouse for each seed. And it also allows you to watch um, for the germination. So that is how to start the seeds of Opuntia humifusa.